Good day, people. Um, Rarevid's back again. Uh, you're probably getting bored shitless of my stupid videos, but I progress on. Um, uh, doing Joe D'Amato films now because my partner in crime, Steve Bennett, how you going, Steve-o, um, was kind enough to send me this for fucking nothing, which is fucking amazing. I, I can't believe it. Um, Anthropagus, the 88 films, um, Blu-ray. Be good to check it out again. I haven't watched this since um, fucking hell, like early nineties. I recall it was a bit boring, but there was some some great scenes sort of further on down the track in the film. And it's one of those notorious nasties, UK nasties. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've actually popped that on now, and the title screen comes up as the Savage Island, which is the alternate title. Um, yeah, 88 films do good transfers. Zombie 3 was fucking astonishing transfer, so I'm going to give this a go. Um, Diamato's Absurd, that's that's a bootleg of the uh, UK pre-cert, which it, it shits all over Anthropagus. Um, better story, better gore, better direct, just, just everything. Just, it, it, it shits over it, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, Absurd is fantastic. 2020, that that's a good one. Um, I always thought that was cut here, the Australian one, but I've compared it to about three other prints, and it, it's just the way it is. Like when the nun gets her throat cut with a glass and whatnot, and like it, it it has a cutaway, and it always looks like it's cut, but it's not. It's me and my usual paranoia of, <laughs> you know, you guys know me of of shit being cut, but it, it's not. Um, Lone Runner with Miles O'Keefe from lots of uh, Italian fucking actioners. It wasn't too bad, look, it's, it doesn't rank fucking right up their top ladder like a lot of the other ones. Um, but look, it, it's worth a watch, look, if you can get a hold of it, give it a look, you know. Endgame, fantastic. Um, early variation, predates, um, what do you call it, Running Man? Uh, I sort of, yeah, I mean, I prefer this more because I like obscure old films as opposed to Hollywood blockbusters. Um, Al Cliver is the main star. Uh, yeah, that that's a good one. Endgame is, is, is good. I've got the German DVD. Of course, I fucked up and didn't um, bring it out to show you guys. But uh, what do you do? Um, right, Death Smiles at Murder. That was a good one. It's it's like a G an old Giallo type film, but um, yeah, it was it was quite effective. It was it was a bit slow sort of going at the start, but uh, Kinski, you know, guy that, that guy's in fucking everything. Um, it was quite a good one. I recommend it. Beyond the Darkness, um, again, very good. Uh, ne necrophilia type film, not for everyone's taste, I guess, not everyone's cup of tea. But it sort of plays comically, you know, if y you can't take it seriously. There is some fucking revolting scenes, like when Iris is eating and all the food and shit's coming out of her mouth. It, oh, fucking hell. I don't know. If you've seen the film, you, you know why I'm shaking my head at the moment. But, um... You know, he got into a bit of shit, Diamato, when he filmed that. It was alleged that he used real corpses and whatnot, and he's um filming, which was which crap. You know, it's 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 fucking rubbish. It was all prosthetics and whatnot. But um, yeah, the Beyond the Darkness is a good one. It, it was released here recently in Australia on DVD too, but I, I haven't bought it. So yeah, I mean, look, that that that's a good one. The the um. The Goblin score is fucking superb in this as well, so th that's another reason to watch this. Not only the, the film is entertaining, but the, the music score, which is always a bonus, is, is fantastic. Um, Caligula, the untold story on Video Classics. See if I can open it up. Um, yeah, look, I haven't even watched that. Shit together, yeah. Uh, apparently, it's cut here. Um, I, I think there's supposed to be X rated scenes in there and whatnot, but um, you know, I've had this thing forever and it is quite rare, it's actually quite a rare tape, but um, I've never watched it. 
fuck knows whether I ever will, to be honest. Killing Birds. I, I found out tonight Diamato was a co-director on this. I honestly didn't even fucking know that until tonight. It's it's not too bad. This this Greek one's cut. I used to have the Dutch one, which is fucking cut as well. The DVD reportedly is uncut, but I haven't seen that print. The Japanese print, I know 100% is uncut, but I don't have it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bit slow and whatnot, sort of mainly in the middle of the film. The start is quite good. There is some good gore scenes in it, but there's just a lot of padded scenes in between, you know what I mean? I, I get bored very easily. Um, but yeah, look, it's, Killing Birds is, is worth checking out. I think it's known as Zombie 5 or some fucking thing on the American DVD. Um, so, you know, as I said, I've got Antrophagus on at the moment. I'll, I'll check it out. Um, yeah, no, no doubt I'll probably be fucking bored until the end. But, um, oh, look, I'll, I'll see how we go. Get back to my beer. The old Kill Kenny tonight. Well, one of them. Um, so, that's about it for now. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Unless I'm locked up. See ya.